Hey everybody, Sully Man here. Uh, yeah, so we're diving deeper into objects, and before we move into really kind of getting into the meat and potatoes of creating objects, um, I just want you to understand what objects are really truly comprised of. Um, and this is the essence of vector work. Uh, objects are comprised of paths. Um, an infinite number, whatever they are, you know, if it's a square, it's probably four paths. If it's a circle, it's one continuous path um, in a circle shape, bezier uh, curved perfectly, or however you want it. But uh, yeah, they're made of paths. A path, um, you ask, is think of it, it's, it's kind of like an in invisible piece of information. Um, so what you're seeing right here on screen, this is a simple path um, comprised of two anchor points, point A to point B, and that distance in between creates the path. It's a straight path. Uh, this green um, line that you're seeing right here is a path that's pretty dynamic. It contains, you know, some straight ones creating this zigzag, and then a nice curved bezier path, um, you know, giving giving the appearance it's all, almost like a heartbeat monitor or something something of sorts. But uh, if you notice, when I hover, the smart guide says that there's a path, and then along that path you run into anchor points. So just to show you. This is actually what you're seeing on screen, these blue lines. Those are the paths without appearances applied to them. So appearances are just really the on-screen representation of color and, and the weight of the line um, and the gradients and what have you. Those are the appearances. So paths combined with appearances create what you want to see on screen. So um, to be able to edit the path is an essential thing to creating objects. Uh, so again, keep in mind, objects are comprised of paths, and more than, uh, it, you know, when you create the anchor points, you're creating paths, so forth, so on. Any combination, and in it's infinite, creates whatever graphic you're trying to, uh, to make. So I'm a visual learner. I'm going to break that down for you one more time. So remember, the initial click, cr click ugh, if I could speak properly, uh, the initial click is an anchor point. Um, any point beyond that that you click second, you're creating the second anchor point, uh, thus resulting in a path. Uh, and when you combine paths into whatever infinite shape you want, um, creates an object. Uh, once you have that object, you move on to applying an appearance to it. These four objects um, I'm just using as example to show you the three major appearances you can apply to paths in Illustrator. Uh, this first one is a fill. It's just a flat color fill um, that I've applied to these uh, this square object. Um, if you didn't want the fill, you have the choice of using just a stroke, as you can see here. Uh, I just stroked and created a specific width of the stroke, which I could change, thicken it if I wanted to, you know, thin it if I wanted to. Um, but there's no fill. Uh, this third one is a gradient. And a gradient is just a blending of color. It's two colors that um, blend together. Um, so those are your three major things, but you can also combine all three if you wanted to. So as you can see here, I have the object comprised of paths that I apply the appearance of a red stroke, the specific width that I designated. Um, and then the fill that I selected, I wanted the fill to be a gradient. Or I could switch it back to just a flat. You know, so that's flat red, or if I wanted to change it to a blue, I could do that as well. So I'll run you through that one more time. Um, here's our square. It's compri comprised of four anchor points that are connected together, creating paths, which are four paths thus making the object, and then I apply an appearance to it. And that's essentially, um, you know, what paths and anchor points are uh, when you're talking about objects. So I hope you took something from this today, and in the next video we'll be moving into actually creating uh, multiple different objects, um, and from there we'll probably move into, you know, uh, combining objects together and coloring them and all sorts of stuff. So it's going to get pretty exciting from here. So uh, yeah, if, if you're, this is something that you do need to understand, please watch the video again and really kind of bury it in your brain. Nothing difficult. It's a pretty simple subject, but it's definitely one of the fundamentals that you need to know. So uh, yeah, again, like I said, take your time, let this sink in, and I'll see you in the next video.